Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. 
I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Hey, Commander. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers on any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. 
Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a Spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the Beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. 
Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else.